welcome to Mystic Meeks. Hope you guys are doing good today. So I was feeling like I needed to be natural kind of on camera. Obviously I'm wearing some eye stuff but like I didn't put anything on my face besides lotion. I mean, like I needed to like do my hair, do all my makeup and I was like you know what I don't have to look fucking perfect for the camera every single time I record. Because I feel like a lot of people do that online and it's just not really realistic. This is a video that was suggested by Diamond Pluto 8939 We're going to see what are your ex-friends saying about you. And this is going to be like a little taste test. So we got the new like Starbucks drinks. So option one is going to be the pink drink and option two is going to be the paradise drink. And obviously this is my first time trying these. If you guys don't know, I worked at Starbucks for like, I think at least four years. So I know what the regular drinks taste like at Starbucks, but I don't know what these taste like. Because the video, choose whichever pile you feel most called to. And we'll start with the pink drink. I chose a pink drink. First thing, we're gonna try it. So we're gonna crack it open. smells exactly like a pink drink that you get at Starbucks. So let's try it. I gotta say there's like a, maybe it's like the coconut doesn't taste as strong or something. There's like something a little bit off with it. Like you could tell it's not like freshly made from Starbucks. Yeah, first ingredient is water, and then coconut milk, white grape juice, sugar, strawberry. So this is pretty good. Um, I guess it's, I don't know, I was gonna say this is like a cheaper option than getting a pink drink, but I think this is like $4, so it's not really different in price. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what are your ex-friends saying about you for pile one. Okay, I'm looking at the March on here, so March could be significant. These could also be ex-friends from like high school. What are your ex-friends saying about you for pile one? Okay, Ace of Pentacles. I'm hearing not much has changed with them either. Like, they're pretty much the same type of people. They do the same things. They talk to the same people. Like, there's really not much of a change. So they could be talking about how you're really different compared to how you used to be um, but that's because these ex-friends just haven't changed at all yeah we have the emperor someone on here could have their own business or you're just very successful a lot of you i feel like these are ex-friends that would cause a lot of drama or enjoyed drama or just enjoyed talking about other people, sorry, my hair is like bothering me right now. Enjoyed talking about like other people. Maybe you just weren't about that. Yeah, there's like an emphasis on your money or your work or something or how you make money. They talk about that. Someone here could be a boss, manager, or just in like a high up position. Both of these pentacle cards are in reverse though, so they're definitely like jealous of what you're doing. Some of your ex-friends could feel like you're kind of full of yourself now, but I feel like for this pile maybe you guys aren't really expecting like them to say the greatest things because they've never been they're obviously ex-friends so they've never been that great <laughs> or maybe that's why you stop talking to them yeah king of swords some of you maybe you interact with them once in a while like maybe you see them at events or 
like you send them a message once in a while but it's never consistent yeah because these people these ex-friends wish that you weren't in the position that you are definitely a lot of jealousy of just like your success what you're doing for money this could be ex-friends that are very like Obsessed over money or looks or something. Um, what do they say about you? Yeah, just like you're not the same person that you used to be. Maybe you used to be like into drama and into like just the same stuff that they are, but you like grew out of that. Uh, these ex-friends I feel like are just like you matured and then they didn't <laughs> some of them want to talk to you but then they don't because they feel like something about just like you having more power or you're more confident than them or there's like a lot of people around you. If you're doing something on social media, they definitely talk about that. I do feel like these ex-friends watch you, but then they also kind of talk shit too. Not gonna lie, <laughs> but who cares? <laughs> okay, so pile one, what else are they saying? Yeah, they miss, they do miss hanging out with you, talking to you, seeing you. Again, things are just not the same anymore. We have abducted, but it's in reverse. They felt like you were more gullible in the past, so you could, they could talk to you about things and you would like believe them. And now they feel like you just... Yeah, temptation in reverse, you're just kind of over what they tell you. Maybe they'd promise you things or they'd say specific things, you'd believe them. Yeah, now you just, I feel like you maybe view them as like snakes or sketchy. <laughs> or just, I wanted to say weird. Bermuda Triangle, traveling, new environment. So they also talk about you traveling a lot. You're just, yeah, not invested in them anymore. You don't even, they feel like you don't even pay attention to them anymore at all. Like you don't look at their social medias or anything. You're kind of just in your own lane doing your own thing. Because... Most of you, I feel like these friends like backstabbed you or were sneaky, sketchy. So that's what I'll say for file one. Let me know what you guys think and if this resonated. And now we're gonna do pile two, two or the paradise drink. We're gonna see what are your ex friends say about you. And I'm gonna sample this first. I'm kind of scared for this one. Just one on my arm. Okay, it smells like pineapple. That's a good sign. I gotta say, I don't really like pineapple flavored stuff. This tastes like... I'm pretty sure, didn't they have a pineapple drink at Starbucks? Pineapple passion fruit. This has like a really strong pineapple flavor though. Um, I think I like the pink drink one a little bit better. <laughs> okay, so let's see. How to, what are your ex-friends saying about you? And if you guys missed the intro, I'm like kind of trying to be natural today, not putting on makeup. Well, obviously besides my eyes, but I'm trying to let my skin kind of take a break. <laughs> Okay, so let's see, pile two, what are your ex-friends saying about you? <clears throat> Four of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Okay, someone in here could have kids. 
or child. That could be why you stopped talking to these friends, because maybe you had like a big life event or some kind of responsibility that you had to take over. These also could be ex-friends that like don't have jobs or this year guys' lifestyles weren't really the same so then maybe some of you just like separated from these friends in like a natural way like you just eventually stopped talking because it's like you guys don't really have similar things going on. We have nine of pentacles reversed. So these ex-friends could say that you're very money obsessed or you're very, there's like two different messages. Some of them are saying that you work a lot and then for others, they're saying that you, you act like you work a lot, but you actually don't work that much or you act like you have a lot going on, but you actually don't have that much going on. So it's just like a facade. These ex-friends could feel like maybe you guys had a falling out because you would act like you're like too busy for them or something. The number six could be significant. That could be six ex-friends or maybe you stopped talking to these ex-friends like six months ago. This I'm picking up could be childhood friends. Okay, Seven of Cups. Also hearing maybe you guys had goals that you wanted to do or things that you guys talked about doing together and then you never did them. So this ex-friend definitely thinks about that. This ex-friend or friends, I feel like thinks about the past with you a lot. Some of that, okay, this is only for like one or two of you. This ex-friend could be obsessed with you. <laughs> the tower in reverse. Yeah, like maybe they got kind of weird. <laughs> like they, some, okay, some of you, maybe it's like a, a friend that you thought you two were just friends, but then they turn out to have a crush on you, or just, things just got kind of weird <laughs> with this person. Maybe they, <laughs> someone here, maybe they made a move and you're like, okay, I don't really see you that way. And then you two had a falling out. Yeah, the Haynes man. This could also be same sex. Like maybe you're not part of like the LGBTQ community, but and you also didn't think that this person was, but then you found out this person was because of something that they did or like they tried to make a move on you or express like some kind of feelings. <laughs> That's what I'm getting for someone. Um, so for those that resonates, like they think that you're kind of the one that got away or they just definitely missed the connection they had with you. They feel like you're, yeah, just very, they talk about how you're very focused on your responsibilities, how you just don't have time for them, or this could be like what happened in the past, like you just didn't have time for them because you had your kids or you had bills or it feels like there's a big responsibility that you had to take over. Maybe it's like you had to take on like a mortgage or take on like caring for your parents or something this ex-friend does talk about maybe how when your life settles down a little bit that you two will like be friends again yeah focus on yourself in reverse feel like sometimes like you don't have time to focus on yourself because you have so much going on but some of you this ex-friend acts like or says that you act like 
you're always busy when you're really not. Yeah, and maybe that you just don't like them. Some of you, maybe a marriage got in the way between this friendship. Or again, something with family, I feel. This ex friend saying about you. Some of them, take what resonates, are saying that you could have lied to them. Like you weren't honest with them. Like they felt like you could have just been like, hey, I don't really want to be your friend anymore. But instead you just kept making excuses. This person could also talk about how they feel like you maybe view them as like a bum or like just a person that never works, never has much going on. Someone I'm hearing a tattoo artist but they're like not a professional they kind of just do it at home um something about like living with your parent this is okay this is just like what they're saying not what they're thinking not my opinion or anything um but like living with your parents they feel like you were looking down at them because they were like Something about their life just wasn't like yours. Maybe they didn't go to school, like college, like you. So you just like kind of look down on them. Yeah, and they do wish that they were a part of your life. They wish that, I'm also hearing they wish that they could see your kids. They wish that they could see where you're at right now, but they just feel like you're just over them like you don't want to interact with them this person if you have them on social media they definitely watch you i'm hearing like you guys have memory pictures so you know on a, how on like facebook like pictures or memories from years and years ago will pop up like they like to look at those Or if you don't have them on social media, this person could just have like, seeing actual like photographs, not, maybe not so much on the phone, but like actual photographs of you guys together. So maybe some of you were like friends with this, these people in like the 90s or like the 80s or something. Yeah, receptivity. So they feel like you put an end to the friendship. Some of them are understanding, others of them feel like you just could have been honest with them instead of like being kind of rude and just cutting them off or just always coming up with excuses. But yeah, that's what I'm saying for pile two. Let me know if this resonates and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!